Hello there traders, I'm Maria Stradopa and this is the review of Crypto Analytics from FX.co. It's the 28th of November today, Tuesday, and recently uh, Bitcoin retested the 38,000 level. And uh, today we will discuss what awaits the asset in the new trading week and uh, what uh, important market events are worth investors' attention. And we have uh, one article today by Artem Petrenko. So last week we witnessed a rapid and substantial price movement of Bitcoin within the local range of $35,538 and over the course of two days the cryptocurrency could retest both upper and lower boundaries of the channel indicating a high level of interest from investors and traders. As a result, Bitcoin uh, retested the 38,300 level. Uh, however, subsequently the price returned within uh, the familiar range uh, where it spent all the weekend. As of yesterday, November 27th, Bitcoin maintained advantageous positions near uh, the 37,500 level given the reason to believe that uh, the uptrend may continue this week. However, the possibility of a correction still exists, but as the festive December approaches, the chances of this are diminishing. So what's the fundamental background? Let's discuss. Bitcoin, like much of the fund financial markets, is growing thanks to the preservation of a favorable fundamental background, and the majority of investors and traders now believe that the Fed will not raise the interest rate at its next meeting in December. Other macro factors, such as job market, a decrease in inflation levels, and a decline in consumer confidence, also point to that. However, uh, two important, uh, important events uh, will be tied to the US dollar this trading week. First, GDP data on Wednesday, November 29th, and second, a speech by the Fed Chair Jerome, Jerome Powell on Friday, December 1st. These events can have a significant impact uh, on a cryptocurrency market if a new data emerges that contradicts the current state of macroeconomic background. In other words, Bitcoin uh, will have enough reasons for impulsive price movements. Um, Despite several unsuccessful uh, retests of uh, 38,000 level, Bitcoin kind of confidently maintains bullish positions near the psychological resistance area. In addition to fundamental factors, investors are confident that the Commission will soon approve a spot Bitcoin TF, which, according to Glassnode, could bring over $70 billion to the crypto market. Despite the potential benefits, JP Morgan analysts, for example, claim that a significant portion of this current rally uh, is uh, momentum-driven and lacks uh, fundamental reasons. At the same time, their colleagues from Morgan Stanley uh, state, uh, that, uh, stated that uh, they expect a significant uh, increase in uh, price a Bitcoin price after the holding in April 2024. Alongside uh, these processes, long-term investors continue to actively accumulate Bitcoin coins and according to into the block data, more than 1 million uh, addresses hold at least uh, one Bitcoin, which is a bullish indicator. And considering all these factors, it can be confidently stated that short-term positivity in Bitcoin market, uh, crypto market persists. So what's happening technically? Let's have a look at the chart. Uh, on Friday, Bitcoin reached a new annual high, breaking through the 38,000 level and uh, reached 38,300. Subsequently, sellers pushed the price below that very 38,000 level. And for the remainder of the weekend, uh, Bitcoin consolidated. 
As a result, uh, as the new trading week begins, Bitcoin is near 37,400 with a daily trading volumes around 15.2 billion dollars. Uh, and uh, while fundamentally Bitcoin maintains its bullish potential, technically it uh, the momentum has diminished, Arjun says. Uh, after f uh, f forming a local upward channel, it essentially shifted to consolidation within 35,500-38,000 range. And uh, the cryptocurrency barely managed to update its local high, but the reaction of sellers was uh, swift and widespread. Uh, meanwhile, stochastic on the one-day chart again uh, indicates a decline in Bitcoin price and the MACD confirms the strengthening bearish sentiment. At the same time, take uh, volumes continue to rise amid Bitcoin's inability to establish itself above uh, $38,000 and uh, the absence of positive news related to the approval of Bitcoin ETF also diminishes uh, traders' investment appetite, which will soon lead to a full correction or consolidation within broader ranges of $33,000 or $38,000 or $31,000. 35,500 ranges. However, the current week and the fundamental triggers um, um, may allow Bitcoin to achieve uh, the 38,000 level again. So making a conclusion, Artem says that in many ways the current week uh, will be decisive for the price movement of Bitcoin uh, in the coming weeks. If uh, it breaks through and firmly uh, establishes itself above $38,000 or once again update its local high, the status quo will be maintained. Otherwise, if we can expect a gradual decline in price uh, within the consolidation due to the prevalence of profit-taking volumes over long-term accumulators. Okay, let's have a look at the chart of Bitcoin for the moment. It's the 28th of November and Bitcoin opened today at the point 37,199 and now it is trading at 36,925. So what can we say that Bitcoin hasn't approached the, that very 38,000 level, it's quite far from it, moreover it's even declined below $37,000, however it's still in the same broad uh, consolidation range, it has been for a long time, and as we remember, the main uh, important events uh, of this week are tomorrow on Wednesday and on Friday. Uh, and we should be very attentive and on these days uh, impulsive price movements can occur. Well, this is all for today. We will see each other tomorrow in our next review. I wish you to have a nice day and profitable trading and see you next time. Goodbye.